Okay guys, this is the puzzle ring. Now I'm going to show you how to put it together. Isn't it pretty? I had one of these for years and years. I got when I was a teenager and it only had four pieces. It had one that went through here, one that went through here, and then these other two. This is the sixth piece which makes it very hard to handle and very hard to film because it's shiny. <laughs> As you can see, not all that easy. So I'm going to go in out of focus once in a while, but I'll make sure you see how to put these little puppies back together. Because as pretty as they are, when they fall down, they can be, well, kind of messed up. You're going to look for the pieces that look like a V. See, this looks like a V. These look like Z's. See? Zigzags. So you find the one, find one of them that looks like a, a V. And the one on the other end of the clusters will be a V also. And you bring it up until they face away from each other. Okay? Now. Under here, you're going to look for the piece or matching pieces. They have the most divots in the top. See, this has bumps here, and it has, I mean, dents here, and it has dents here. And this one has the dents, have dents over here, but the rest of it is pretty smooth. See there? The rest of it's pretty smooth on top. That's going to be on the top of these bottom two pieces. Okay. So we're going to take the bottom two pieces and we're going to cross them over the ring. See how it looks on the bottom? They are, this bump is going in that side of the, the, the ring and that bump is going on this side. So they kind of hug it on both directions. And we're going to take these two guys. Come on, babies. My problem with them is they don't stay together. They don't play nice. I'm not going to let those two get away. Get these two together. So they cooperate. Oh, I hope you only have a four piece. It's so much easier. Okay, so that's the one that goes on top. So I take these two and I again make sure that they are hugging both sides of the stem. And I take these and they have to turn the other way. See? This this way they're you take and you turn them so that they are hugging the other side of the ring stem. <laughs> I think two people could probably do this real easy. There we go. So you have the smoother one on top and the bumpier one on the bottom. And you look on the bottom and you make sure that they aren't crossing over anywhere and they're nice, they fit smoothly together. Okay, now what happens if they aren't smoothly together? That means that one of these is on the wrong side of these guys. So what you would do is you'd take this apart and you'd pull them all the way around these humps and put them back on the other side and then they'll fit together just like this, okay? It just means that they're on the wrong side of each other. Now we get these two guys and these fit aren't really clear on who's supposed to be on the bottom and who's supposed to be on the top. So, this is kind of like 50-50 um, if yours don't have distinct bumps on them. The ones I had before had a distinct bump on them. So what you do is you take this here, you put them so that they're bending away from each other. See they're up here like this, you let them fall away from each other. And you're going to take one of them 
I'm going to sneak it around here and you're going to lay it down. Okay? Now that lays down pretty good. Okay, now you're going to hold it loosely because this has to be able to move in here. I'm going to turn this around. And you're going to goose it through there. Be nice. And lay it down. Now, if this won't lay down, if it insists on sticking out like this, it means the last one you did, the last one you did should have been the first one. And so what you would do is you would take this apart, bring it back around here, and take the other one apart, put your finger in there, take the other one apart, and pull it back around here, and then you would do that one first. This is the one I did last. And then do this one last, and that will straighten out the problem. Make sure when you put it down that it can come up to, to flush with the ring and it isn't under this bottom part of the ring, rim that's underneath. You put it through a finger loosely, put it around so that it can come down, and there you have your ring again. And if you found that too difficult and too frustrating, get yourself a little piece of wire. And when you finish wearing it, take your little piece of wire, stick it through, give it a little good twist, and then you can, don't have to worry about it falling apart. Okay? I hope that helped. I hope that'll help you enjoying your rings without having them sitting in pieces in your jewelry box. Okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. And I'm sorry for the blurriness. Like I said, it's very hard to do something clear like this. It's so shiny. Have a great one.